So there is a video that's on YouTube and I don't know why the artist kept it up. Well, I think she kept it up because it has so many views, but it's complete misinformation. And she it's been pointed out that it was wrong and her solution was to just turn off comments. This video tells everybody it's using these fancy terms like honeycomb structure and molecules are binding and blah, blah. And it sounds like she knows what she's talking about. It's this fear mongering video that tells you don't use water. If you do barely use any, because it's gonna break apart. It's gonna flake off. It's gonna chip off. It's going, and it's not going to do any of those things. That's all a lie. None of that is true. It sounds so like, it sounds like it makes sense. This is not true. That is not practical. Goldens themselves has done testing, like actual testing, not honeycomb theory testing, but like real testing. And they showed that you would have to use like somewhere between 90 to 95% or more water in order to cause any issues with the paint not binding to the, the canvas. It's just not true. You are totally fine using water with your acrylic paintings, thinning it down. No one is using 90 to 95% water. So it's not even something you have to worry about if you're using a quality paint. So that I do want to throw out there. Goldens, you're fine. Grumbacher, you're going to be fine. Any of the Liquitex, even the Liquitex Basics, which is what I use, you're going to be fine. That paint is not going to flake. It's not going to chip. That's all made up fantasy land thing. Now, when you've seen that happen, we've seen paintings where it's chipped off. Usually it's one of a couple of problems. One, the canvas. The canvas sometimes when it's made, somebody might've had oil got somehow on the acrylic gesso and then acrylics aren't wanting to stick well. I've seen that. I've seen where somebody used molding paste to get that texture and that started to flake off. That's nothing to do with what we're talking about here with the acrylics. The acrylic paint, once it's dry on the canvas, once you varnish it, it's not coming off. Like that's it if you're using a good paint. Now, if you're using a cheap paint, like Royal Langnickel was one. God, who made some of the other ones? Dowler, Dowler and Rowney. I am not saying those right. But those brands, they don't want to stick to the canvas at the best of times. So I'm not even counting those in this. But you don't, you can use a mixing medium if you want. That's kind of what the one video I was talking about earlier was pushing was use a mixing medium, don't use water. You can use a mixing medium, but it's a very different painting experience. I don't like the results I get when using a mixing medium. It makes it kind of gooey. I don't, I don't like it. It drives it a weird rate. It's a little too fast. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I'm using water. I've all, I've been painting this way for, gosh, 30 years. I'm old. It works. It, nothing's been damaged. I've painted that method on tables that I then stood on that I had next to a saltwater tank for 10 years and stood on it. I used it to stand to get into the tank. Spilled salt water all over it. Once it's varnished, that paint's not coming off. No problems. Like I was rough on that. Nothing came off. And that water, that was, all my stuff's thinned down quite a bit with water. So you are perfectly fine using your water and acrylic paint together if you're using a quality paint. It's not, it's just not something you really need to worry about. So I want to clear that up. It's kind of been a headache for a lot of us who paint in acrylics and know what we're doing because we've had to, we are constantly being questioned about that. I heard you couldn't use water with acrylics. Yeah, you heard from somebody who, like that video was just make-believe. It was monster under the bed, make believe. It got a lot of views because it sounded scary, but it's not true. You're fine. I'll put a link to the Golden's testing in the video description.